Well, hello again. Here's another one of my uh, yes or no questions. This one is, was JFK a good president? Uh, John Kennedy, was he a good president? Uh, there are uh, many people, in fact, I imagine quite a large majority of Americans who feel that he was a fine president, even a great president, one of, one of our best. Opinion polls continue to uh, demonstrate this. He gets very high uh, ratings even today from the American people. Yet there are, uh, there are those who disagree that say he was uh, mediocre at best, uh, didn't really accomplish much, and so forth. So there's, there's quite, a, quite a divide of opinion. So let's, let's take a look at the arguments. Uh, on the yes side, yes, he was a good president. Uh, a lot of what is said in John Kennedy's behalf has to do with style. Um, he represented a dramatic change of pace from any of his previous uh, presid uh, presidential predecessors, uh, all of whom were older men, even old men. Uh, whereas Kennedy represented uh, youthful vigor, uh, an attachment to culture. Uh, this was certainly uh, strengthened by his uh, rock star kind of wife, Jackie. He was a celebrity president. He was, he was something that people kind of yearned for. Uh, he was uh, seen to be attractive, uh, articulate, he certainly had a great turn of phrase. Uh, he had good speech writers, of course, but he, he knew how to use them. He knew how to deliver uh, insights, uh, senses of purpose and senses of mission for the country that made a big impression on people who can forget some of his phrases like, ask, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, that kind of thing. That, that really played well uh, in the uh, uh, in the Great Plains and, and elsewhere in the country. So John did uh, himself a favor by uh, coming on as, as he did. Uh, he was also, uh, to many people, uh, as a Catholic, uh, represented a real change of pace, a real liberalization of attitudes. Even though some people said, wait a minute, is it safe to have a Catholic um, in the White House, he might have more allegiance to the Pope than he does to the American people, that kind of thing. That really didn't uh, make a big enough impression not to get him elected. Uh, but uh, it, it, it was a, a wholesome step forward, perhaps even, in the, uh, perhaps even as a presage to the uh, election of a, a black man as President of the United States some generations later. So uh, that, that was a, a, an accomplishment uh, that he managed to overcome any latent prejudice uh, of that sort. He did a couple of very newsworthy uh, things when he uh, certainly set the course for the moon landings, which happened uh, six years after his death. Uh, he made a commitment to, to get to the moon, obviously having been advised that it was feasible just as long as a lot of money was spent. Uh, and he also founded the Peace Corps, uh, uh, an organization of uh, volunteers going to places in the world where they need some help of one sort or another. And it became a, a very, almost a totem for uh, idealistic young people who were uh, wanted to make the world a better place. Uh, 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 Meghan Markle probably would have joined the Peace Corps if she had had the time. Uh, well, uh, as for some of the things that he's criticized for, one could make uh, a positive case as well. For example, uh, on the notion of civil rights legislation, although he didn't get the legislation uh, through Congress that he would have liked, he set the course. He got that started. He did make some memorable speeches uh, about the necessity to do a better job of looking after all Americans, not just the white ones. Uh, he was widely praised by Martin Luther King for having done that. 
And, uh, and then finally, uh, with respect to the Cuban Missile Crisis, for which uh, he is sometimes blamed, and see some of my comments later on about that, he nonetheless uh, managed to defuse it. He got together with Khrushchev, uh, the whole thing kind of calmed down a bit, and so in many respects he may have, uh, he may have saved the, uh, the nation, the world, from a very unpleasant uh, military encounter. So what about those who say that he really didn't do a very good job? Um, well, uh, some of it has to do with the negatives of things for which he's given credit <laughs> earlier in my video. Uh, the fact that he did not get the civil rights legislation through Congress uh, is, is seen to be a failure. Now, maybe that's a bit unfair because perhaps given more time and a second term, I suspect he would have been reelected. Uh, he might well have uh, uh, managed that. Another event for which uh, Kennedy is widely criticized was the disastrous Bay of Pigs invasion. Uh, this was a, uh, an invasion of Cuba by a group of Cuban exiles who had been run out of uh, Cuba by uh, the arrival of Fidel Castro three, hour, three years earlier. Uh, and an attempt to liberate the country. Uh, it received uh, certainly plenty of American support, uh, not all, altogether obvious, but everybody knew who was behind it, who was financing it, who was providing some of the weapons. And, uh, and, and of course the Americans were themselves uh, indignant about uh, Castro's having uh, seized a lot of American investment, a lot of American businesses, uh, assets, and so forth in Cuba. So, so there, there was a lot of uh, uh, animosity there to begin with, and and thus the invasion which failed. It was uh, it was a humiliating defeat for the Americans. Uh, there have been a few like that in my lifetime. Very hard to swallow, really. A little bit like Jimmy Car Carter's. Uh, uh, desert fiasco when he tried to rescue the American hostages in, in Iran. Uh, so those things don't sit well uh, and uh, this was probably the most abject failure of the of the Kennedy administration. Another uh, black mark is put against Kennedy for having expanded the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War was uh, with hindsight, a catastrophe for the U.S. Uh, despite uh, some retrospective rewriting of history, the fact is that the, uh, the Americans entered the Vietnam War incident to a treaty obligation uh, that they had in Southeast Asia, uh, uh, but uh, were unable to carry off the expected uh, victory over the uh, North Vietnamese insurgents. Again, it was uh, uh, a humiliating uh, series of events and it took uh, Kennedy's uh, successor, Johnson, to recognize how hopeless it was and, and uh, basically to end American involvement. I was not long ago in uh, Saigon and saw the uh, building, the American embassy from which uh, the famous picture takes depicts the lifting off of the final embassy staff with a, with a helicopter to flee Vietnam. Uh, really quite, quite a humiliating experience. Well, uh, another uh, black mark that's put against uh, John Kennedy was his uh, embracing uh, so-called Keynesian economics. Uh, uh, Lord Keynes, of course, uh, notably said that uh, uh, one can use uh, fiscal measures in an economy to stimulate uh, the economy uh, when it needs uh, to be uh, so uh, stimulated. Uh, one can run budget deficits uh, to increase spending or one can restrain spending when inflation starts to pick up. Well, of course, politicians have always loved the part where you increase spending. <laughs> and Kennedy was the one who really started that out and, and made it a, a part of orthodoxy. He basically abandoned the commitment to balanced budgets and, and uh, 
there have been a few since then, but not very many. Uh, and uh, I've addressed the whole subject about whether nations can borrow indefinitely in another video. But I must say that that, uh, that has had long-term long -term consequences for the nation's finances. And finally, uh, for some people at least, his pre-epic behavior uh, in the White House, the uh, constant uh, sexual activity uh, with uh, women in and out of the White House, the adulterous uh, behavior of uh, huge proportions, uh, to many people's way of thinking, is pretty unpleasant business, really. Uh, people don't seem to have held that against them. Uh, it, he was certainly in the same mold as, as, uh, as Clinton was, uh, and I guess maybe people take the view that, well, anybody who's ambitious enough to, to uh, run for president is probably ambitious enough to uh, think he can um, conquer women as well. So <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how that one has played out. I'm a bit surprised. I think he probably offended a lot of people, but, but not enough to not get elected. Okay, well, what's, what's my take on John Kennedy? Well, uh, I did grow up during the uh, Kennedy era when he was getting started, when he was elected. I'm a native of Boston, so I was uh, kind of immersed in that whole uh, cultural milieu of that family. Um, and uh, while on the one hand I favor the youth and vigor and cultural uh, associations that, that Kennedy brought to the, brought to the presidency. And uh, I can see some arguments for and against whether he was a good president or not. My view of the family is, uh, is pretty unfavorable, almost uh, repugnant, really. They, they were <laughs> basically, uh, by some standards, pretty awful people. So I, I have a hard time getting that out of my head. But by and large, I guess I would say he was a medium president. He certainly wasn't one of the greatest. Okay, well, that's how I come out. Uh, now, that's something that I'm sure will uh, uh, offend some older people, but uh, most younger people and most Brits really probably don't care too much. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. We'll see in the comments. Okay, uh, well, if you liked it, give me a like. Uh, as usual, uh, subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, uh, hit the notification bell and I will see you at the next one of these. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.